Hi Tesla fans, I'm Ellie with T-Sport Line. Very exciting day today as I'm unveiling to all of you my personal 2022 Model S Plaid. This car is unreal and I did so much work to it. We started at the end of last year, around December time, and here we are now in January, ready for the unveil. So let me share with you step by step, we'll do a walkthrough of what I actually did. First things first, black car, they get dirty, they're hard to maintain the paint. I used Expel Ultimate Plus paint protection film on the whole exterior. Peace of mind against road rash and damage, door dings, but most importantly, easy cleanup. The car cleans up very easily, never have to wa wax it, soap and water only. Now, you know, I love that sinister look. So we tinted the headlights and the fog lights using special film just to kind of darken it up a little bit. My front Tesla T emblem and my rear Tesla T emblem, the two pieces that came from Tesla with chrome now are gloss black. And I love that look. I don't really care for chrome. Now, if you take a look over here, you know I had to change the wheels. That's what T-Sport line is all about. And these are our newest 21 inch, one piece forged wheels. They're called TSSF. And I think they look great. I have them in gloss black on the driver's side. And yes, satin black on the passenger side. I know that sounds crazy, but if you think about it, you never see both sides of the car at the same time. And this way I could also share with all my Tesla fans, two different unique finishes on the same car. Which do you prefer, gloss black or satin black? Personally, I'm going for the gloss because it's very monochromatic, looks really cool. Now that we put these wheels on, it really opened up and exposed the brake calipers. And for some reason, Tesla does not do red brake calipers anymore on the Performance Model S. So we went ahead and painted the calipers red. We reapplied the Tesla letters in white. It looks very original. And these really cool red calipers match my brand new Bentley red leather interior. Check this out. So here it is. I reupholstered the whole interior using Bentley red leather hides that we actually import from the tanneries in Europe. And I think it's a really great look. I love red interiors. And it has our signature diamond quilted inserts on the door panels, on the upper seat backs, black stitching to give that little bit of contrast, and also tie it all in with the factory headliner and check out my steering wheel. No more yoke. I'm not a fan, I gotta be honest. Um, I love the shape of it, but we have this new wheel called 360 where we actually complete the yoke steering wheel. And this is the first one, you're the first to see it, finished in gloss carbon fiber on the top and on the bottom, Bentley red leather on the sides. And to me, this feels great, it looks great, and it's much easier to make U-turns. I mean, I thought the yoke was cool in the beginning, but for me, it's a no-go as a daily. So we've got our new 360 steering wheel in here. I have carbon fiber seat backs. I love carbon, right? So the whole dash decor on the door panels is now all gloss carbon fiber. It did come with the factory matte carbon, but I think gloss has so much more depth to it. It looks really cool. So we changed it all out, including the center console pieces, and then of course the seat backs. So here's a good question for you guys. What do you prefer, gloss carbon or a matte finish, matte carbon? Love to hear some comments below on that. What else did we do? Oh, radar detector, laser diffuser system, made by Escort, the finest in the industry. If you drive a rocket ship, you gotta make sure that you don't get speeding tickets. So this Escort device is extremely effective. It diffuses laser, it warns you about radar just enough time in advance. And I think, you know, every car should have one. It's a, it's a really great accessory. Other than that, this upholstery to me is the way it should have come from Tesla. And I'm really happy that my team and I had the opportunity to go ahead and be creative and completely reupholster this car. And I'll tell you what, so many more interiors coming your way soon. We have some already on our gallery. There's a Lamborghini Orange, there's the Bentley Saddle, and now we're adding the, the uh, Bentley Red Leather. So which one of those three do you like? That's what we've done so far. I'd love to hear some comments on that as well. And let's end it with this. Check out my plaid badge. How cool is that? They're on our website now too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.